Oh, hi. I know you're surprised to see me. <laughs> but let me tell you, it's taken every ounce of courage I have to show my face in here today. Oh, come on. We get a lot of funny-looking faces in here. <laughs> You don't remember me, do you? Uh, I'm Professor Sumner Sloan. I came in uh, several months ago with Diane Chambers. And to my shame, I deserted her here to go back to my ex-wife. What can I get for you? <laughs> Have a glass of white wine. White wine? Yeah, over dinner last night, a mutual friend of ours informed me that Diane works here. Is that correct? Gee, I don't know. I wasn't at the dinner. <laughs> spending Saturday night with three Dianes. That's right. That uh, Sumner guy's a major brain, Sam. Yeah, he's an intellectual pit bull, Sammy. If you sense his fear, he'll attack. He'll reduce you to a pile of blubbering flesh right in front of your uh, sweet pea there. That seemed kind of nasty, doesn't it? Ooh, mm, it's mean, Sam. Mm. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's not like I'm stupid, is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> what am I doing here? I'm going to look like an idiot. Sam, it's going to be okay. Just talk about something that you know about and they don't. Say, uh, something like your apartment. Coach, Coach, I don't think everyone's going to want to talk about my apartment. Of course not. They'd look stupid trying. <laughs> no, it's, you know, Diane's right. I'm going to embarrass her. Sammy, believe it or not, I think I have a simple solution to all this. Look, he's a literature professor, right? Yeah, right. War and Peace is the greatest novel ever written. You read it between now and Saturday. <laughs> right? Drop a few comments over dinner, you're off to the races. War and Peace, this is a good book? Oh, yeah, well, they say the first 800 pages are a little bit slow, but it shoots right off after. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. What are we talking about? I got five days. How long is this book? Well, I've delivered a few for the book clubs, and it's, uh... Uh, about three and a half pounds paperback. Forget it, Sam. Nobody can read four ounces a day. Well, that would be cream of watercress soup, Coach, followed by baked mussels lightly coated with tarragon butter and topped off by a fine raspberry tart. You know, fine gourmet cooking is uh, truly one of the greatest pleasures of life. Absolutely. <laughs> Coach, what's the expiration date on these? Mm. <laughs> Ref parade. My boys, do you, Sam? Uh, this is Pee Wee, Moose, Juice, Goose, the Tank, the Chancellor, the Bull, the Cannonball Express, Specs, and Dynamic Duel. So what have you guys been working on so far, Coach? Nicknames. Yeah. I <laughs> think that you're overdoing this a little bit. Sam, come on. You know what it takes to win ball games? Coach, Coach, you're, you're doing this because you think you have to make up for the fact that you never made it in the big leagues, but you, you don't have to do that. I mean, you were a damn good coach. I was? You bet. And it wasn't because you were tough. It was because you cared. I mean, my God, how many times... Did you walk me up and down the, the locker room before games, pouring coffee down my throat? I mean, no one else would have bothered to do that. You're right, Sam. I was a lovely man. <laughs> but it's not enough, Sam. Look, look, I'm a contender for the championship, Sam. Look, when I go out there, all those parents, Sam, they cheer for me. They cheer me on. Really? Wow. Now, after all we've been through, you're asking me to give all that up? Well, I... Coach, tell us this. Sure, you walk out there and, and you hear the cheers, but what is it costing you, Coach? Well, let's see, uh, I had to buy a jockstrap. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when I was a kid in school, just about your age, I had this teacher, a real mean guy, a guy named Mr. Spires. 
He always wanted me to learn the Pledge of Allegiance. And one day in assembly hall, he had me say it in front of the whole school. I'd stayed up the whole night before trying to learn it. But when I got up on that stage, I drew a complete blank. I was lost. And this Mr. Spires guy says, nobody in this auditorium is going to leave until Pantuso remembers. I stood there, and it, it seemed like forever, with everybody laughing at me. It was probably the worst day of my life. And, and the point, Coach, is that, that you finally did learn the Pledge of Allegiance. No, Sam, I never learned it. Yeah, but uh, you respected Mr. Spires for trying to help him. No, I hated his gut, Sam. But, but looking back on it now, you respect him for it. No, no, he died and I was glad he died. Thank you, Coach. I'm sure the guys enjoy that inspiring story. <laughs> I guess I must have said the wrong story. Oh, I, I, I don't know. No, what? Coach, you told the right story. Well, well, why did I say it? Because you don't want these guys to leave here hating you like you hated Mr. Spires. Holy mackerel. <laughs> so that's what you had on your minds, huh? Well, listen to me. Nobody, but nobody's going to turn me into a Mr. Spires. Do you understand? And, Coach, there, there, there's going to be some changes. Well, yeah, you there. bet your boots there's going to be some changes. From now on, there'll be no two-a-day practices. Do you understand? You're lucky if you're going to get two a week. <laughs> and any game we play, everybody plays, even the lousy ones, like you, Pee-wee. <laughs> you got it? And if we win, we win. And if we lose, well, tough noogie. Get up! Paula, give these guys sodas till they drop, and I'm buying it. Yeah! Get, up, get up! Turn around and have your sodas. <laughs> Diane, if we lose tomorrow, it's your butt. <laughs>